This week, I'm working through our to-do list here in our 1920s bungalow by the sea, focusing on what still needs to be demoed and cleared, as well as looking at what the next steps are so we can finally move in. Welcome back to the bungalow. Today, I've got two main jobs that I want to focus on. We had basically taken out an existing kitchen extension, so eventually that's going to become our hallway. And there's a half wall that I still need to get out just so it feels like that's done. There is a steel in where the window was, but I'm going to leave that for another time. And then in last week's video, I got some drive and motivation from somewhere and took down all of the ceilings. So we are ceilingless now. There was one room in particular, the guest bedroom, that had loads of furniture in it. And it took a lot of guts just to go up in the loft. So once I was up there, I thought, you know what, I'm just going to knock down the ceiling and deal with the consequences later. <laughs> Basically, I need to empty out that room and clear it at the same time. I stupidly forgot my DJI phone stabiliser thing. So I'm trying to balance you on a pot of pennies at the moment that we found in the shed. <laughs> Bit of a random find, but... We'll take it. So yeah, I think because it's such a nice day, I'm going to just tackle that little wall. And I did start it in my lovely red dress during the bank holiday weekend, just because I was getting really just eager to, to do something. That's the problem when you're here. There's so many jobs to do that you want to feel like you're making as much progress when you're here as possible, because it is quite a long way from here to our apartment, it's like an hour drive just to get down here. So it's like, you wanna make the trip worth it. I'm gonna go and grab my sledgehammer and let's take down this wall. So I'm going away with my sister to Disneyland Paris, literally a week tomorrow now. I'm really excited. I'm not sure who's more excited, to be honest. I am starting to feel like I need a break. So we've got this going on, but then we're also planning our wedding, which is now next month. Just to give you a bit of a backstory, we had our signing the paperwork day last year. And then this year on the exact same date, which is also our 10 year anniversary. We're having our, our proper wedding, but it's a blessing in a woodland. And until very recently, the laws changed where you could get legally married in a woodland, but it's gonna be amazing. And I think we're both now at that point where we're looking forward to the day just being here because we've kind of gone through this process of wedding prep twice now. I'm just looking forward to just being there on the day being present, spending it with our favourite people, our friends and family. But I'm also very excited for the week after where we can just let everything that's happened just settle and we can just relax a little bit more and then really start focusing on getting into this property and calling this our home finally. If you're brand new here, we picked up the keys here on the 19th of December. So as you can, I mean, we're now in May. So it's been a long process even just to get to this point.
eventually we'll be able to walk through here there'll be a wall here and this will be the main bathroom and then you just keep walking keep walking keep walking and then we'll have the extension a few hours have passed now i'm just getting a bit of a breather just because of how dusty it is indoors so if you've been following along with the series you would know that we took out the chimney and then the fireplace in what was the dining room. We're going to turn that space into the ensuite and the walk-in wardrobe. Basically last week I noticed that there was a few loose bricks, sort of like in the base part that we couldn't get up just because it was so difficult. So yes, yeah, so I've been able to do this right side, but I am struggling to do this left side just because this table was here. So I might have to move all of that and the table into this space and then I've actually got sort of swing space and I can stand in this area and really just go at it with the sledgehammer. I should actually update you guys. Let me go and sit down. So we've been talking about heating systems before the screed guy comes back and I think we've decided on what we're going to do. We have been toying with the idea of instead of having radiators, having a wet underfloor heating system instead. Just from various conversations we've had with people that we know that have had underfloor heating and doing our own research, looking at the pros and cons, we're gonna go for it. Which obviously needs to be put in place before the screed guy comes. But it also does mean that we need to start emptying all of the rooms. So this sofa is gonna have to go potentially outside just with some like tarpaulin over it the only room that's not going to be screeded thus it's not going to have underfloor heating put into it yet is our main bedroom and that's the room that i showed you with all of the tools in it that room isn't going to be screeded yet because it's going to be extended so it kind of makes sense to use that front room as a storage room for the time being there's obviously still a few jobs that we need to do like taking off the nails from all of the joists, obviously now that the ceilings are down. Oh, another big job that we need to do before, before the screed guy comes back is we need to get a gas man to come in and disconnect the fireplace from here. And then there's also an oven in now the utility, what was the kitchen, but is what we're considering our utility. And again, that's another room that's not going to be screeded because that's got quarry tile on it and we wanted to keep like some period feature of the property. So I am actually going to do a proper updated tour video for you guys next week. I'm getting my nails done on Friday. So today is actually my last messy day for a while. And then I've also got things like my wedding makeup trial next week. I need to get ready for Disneyland Paris. There's some wedding prep that I need to do. So it'll be really nice as well to actually film a video where I'm not like covered in dust. But before all of that, I need to tackle this room. This room that I completely wrecked, but it needed to happen. So, stay la vie. I don't know where to start, but I definitely think... Oh my God. Okay. Right, I think it makes sense to get all of the insulation out first. Potentially, that plan might change in a second. going on with my face at the moment I literally look like I've been down the mines oh my goodness so I went ahead and started clearing out this guest bedroom I can't actually get a lot of this bigger furniture out 
because of the pull. Instead, I've done a bit of rearranging, swept up. There was actually a little bit of sealing here that I hadn't quite taken off. So I had to get all of that down. And then I haven't done it this time, but maybe when I come back for my trip, I'll tackle that because I think once all of these bits are out, I can then give this room a real proper sweep. There's almost no point moving things around and potentially breaking anything. I think my plan now is to tidy up a little bit and then start going home. And I want to show you my nails as well. I actually get to be a girl for once, which is quite nice. <laughs>